Once you do that, you then have to figure out whether your perceptions match. And if they don't, what do you do about it? And I put this up in my classroom uh, when I teach. I point to the red dot and I say to people, okay, what do you see? Two words or less. And I get these answers and hundreds more. I get vast disagreement about what people saw from a simple picture. Uh, only less than half of the answers contain the word red in it. Uh, in addition to that, most people process a small amount of the available information. Clearly, there's more white space than red dot. And so what you think is the perception doesn't mean that they think it's the perception. And for example, we did a role reversal, and this is in the book uh, at Google, one of, the, with one of the attorneys, I had him play a salesperson. He played a salesperson for five minutes, and he said, you know, I was amazed after five minutes at how much I hated lawyers at Google. <laughs> and so because there are different perceptions that you have to find out based upon different ways that people have been brought up on influences on them and you need to find out so every time you have a disagreement with somebody you need to check your perceptions and theirs this is even a much more serious problem than that i'm sure you've all seen this picture i'm not going to go through uh, the details of it for time but if you want to ask me after you can there are two women in this picture a young woman to the left of the picture and an old woman which is sort of the whole picture one's mouth is the other's necklace one nose is the other's chin, and so forth. I've given half of this picture to a class, the young woman, and the old woman to the other half of the class, and I've asked them to stare at their half for five minutes while I took this off the screen. Then I put the combined picture back on the screen. What do you think happened? Well, almost nobody could see the other one. So the question is, if people have trouble seeing an image they know is there after seeing a contrary image for five minutes, how much trouble does one culture have seeing another culture's point of view that has seen the same picture for a thousand years? And when I say culture, I mean production versus marketing, legal versus sales, you know, uh, Mets versus Phillies. I don't just mean Arabs and Jews. Okay, so this issue is much more serious. They're not being stubborn. They're not being recalcitrant. They're not being stupid. What you see so clearly is not there for them at all. It doesn't exist. And so you've got to start at the beginning. What are the pictures in their heads? And what I think is black, they may think is white. And you've got to find out, friend or foe, or you don't have a prayer to persuade them willingly, only by force.